graph and state the domain and range. We have f of x is equal to e to the x plus 3. So what we'll do is select some x values and find the corresponding f of x values. So let's start with x is equal to negative 2. That would be e to the negative 2 plus 3. And when we evaluate that on a calculator, we'll find it's approximately equal to 3.1. Then for negative 1, it would be e raised to the negative 1 plus 3. And again, on a calculator, that's approximately 3.4. For x equals 0, e to the 0 plus 3 is exactly equal to 4 because e to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. For x equals 1, we would have e to the 1 plus 3. On a calculator, that's approximately equal to 5.7. And for x is equal to 2, e squared plus 3 is approximately equal to 10.4. Now, we can plot each of these points. For x equals negative 2, y is equal to approximately 3.1. For neg x equaling negative 1, right here, the y value is approximately 3.4. For x equals 0, y is equal to 4. For x is equal to 1, y is approximately 5.7. And then our other point of x equaling 2, y is equal to approximately 10.4. That's off of our scale. And so let's draw our graph with a smooth curve through these points. And you'll notice that the line y equals 3 acts as a horizontal asymptote. So in terms of domain, you'll see that the domain, which is all of the x values, are span all real numbers. So the domain is the set of all real numbers. What about the range? Well, the range is the y value, or y values, and you'll see that they do not go below 3. They actually don't even equal 3 or go below, but then they're all above that. So therefore, the range in interval notation would be 3 through infinity in both cases with parentheses.